morning folks we're at the albert city threshermen's and reunion in albert city iowa and we're going to take a little bit of video here for you to uh, enjoy so come along with us as we enjoy the show that was very very modern tractors there just weren't a lot of open station tractors made and so consequently there uh, they've got quite a display of them It's a B.I. right there. Good. 
John Deere uh, Deere made a hundred eighty tens and they were refitted at the factory back in the 80 20s they made a hundred of them as I said there are three of them here at this show so that's quite a piece of John Deere history
I believe that is a Waterloo Boy power unit.
bathtub tractor you just saw is a one of one and it was recreated by some gentlemen who acquired the crankcase after it was dug up during some construction at the Waterloo factory. Uh, amazing piece of uh, restoration work on that tractor and if you saw the clear plastic cover over the transmission and the bow gears uh, that is highlighting the uh, pitting and corrosion that is on the gears in that. Uh, they tried to save as much of the uh, uh, original piece of tractor that they, they could during the restoration. But all they basically started with was the rear case of that tractor. So it's an amazing piece of work. crawler he built that they never made the D crawler like that I think it's got a uh, I, and I'm not 100% sure a uh, 2010 crawler undercarriage but it, it works really well it really does
case pretty rare tractor in its own right probably the first one I've ever seen at the show
here for Marshalls is Bob and Mavis Loving from Elbert City. They've been working at this Thrusher uh, show for many, many years. Thank you very much, and we can give them a hand to go past. Elbert City Fire Department. Mike Wormer from Sioux Rapids has a 1929 Chevy Coupe. There's a 1968 Buick Ambulance. This is one of Albert City's ambulances before we went with the uh, Vista County Regional Medical Center. Following that is a 1965 Sport Hardtop um, Corvair. Chevy Corvair. Jim and Mary DeBoom from Sutherland, Iowa brings us a 1980 Corvette made by Chevy. Robert Woolley from Clare, Iowa brings us a 1964 Chevrolet Corvette. Here's a 1951 Ford convertible. Following that is a 1951 four-door Ford sedan. Here's a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. This is the last year the two-seater uh, T-Birds were made. Here's a Thunderbird that's a little bit newer. This is a 2003 Ford Thunderbird. Here we have a 1979 GMC called Cabello Roll. Cabello Roll. It's uh, like a El Camino, only this is made by GMC. A 1990 Ford Mustang convertible. Here's a 1947 Willys Jeep C uh, CI 2A. A 1951 Ford Victoria Hardtop. It's a 1964 Ford T Bird. Charlie and Rhonda Weedy King from Spirit Lake brings us a 1924 Ford Roadster pickup. Steve and Rachel Rosenboom from Pomeroy. We have the Buena Vista County. County Fair Royalty. Little Princess, and she's driving the horses. A horse and a mule. Tom and Jerry. Dan Schroeder from Ida Grove has the horses Tom and Jerry. Oral Weston III from Esterville has P. Pearl and Mindy, or Minnie, excuse me, Minnie. They're Belgium. David Sue Lenke from Greenville has a horse drawn John Deere Sycamore. Andy and Susan Tolan from Fonda have their horses Ace and Donnie. There's our old Otto. From Albert City driving a ten three fifty two to two and a half ton truck. Our next exhibit here is an Altman Taylor, nineteen twenty three to thirty sixty with a round radiator. So we'll have some square radiators too. This is from Ron Vester and Mickey.
Empire Diesel. This is the first diesel produced by John Deere. Are you going to pull the back track in there? Thank you. 